Here we have question number 20. Now a family has few children, six boys and eight girls, out of which only two boys are literate and three girls are literate. In how many different ways can a group of four boys and five girls be formed such that it has at least one literate boy and at least two literate girls? Let's talk about it. So the question says there are six boys. Out of these six boys, only two are literate. So four are illiterate. We have eight girls. Out of these eight girls, three girls are literate. So automatically five are illiterate. We have to make a group of four boys and five girls such that it has at least a one literate boy. So one plus literate boy and it has at least two literate girls. So two plus literate girls. So what are the possibilities if I talk about it? Let's talk about the number of literate boys, illiterate boys and all that. So when I talk about the boys, first of all, I need four boys. So out of four boys, I can have one literate boy and three illiterate boys, or I can have two literate boys and two illiterate boys. These are the only two possibilities. What about the girls? Five girls are needed. I can have two literate girls and three illiterate girls, or I can have three literate girls and two illiterate girls. These are the only two possibilities for five girls. We just have to select them now and we have to multiply the total number of ways. In how many ways one literate boy can be selected out of two? It is 2C1. Three illiterate boys out of four, it is 4C3. Similarly, two literate boys out of two, it is 2C2. And two illiterate boys out of four, that is 4C2. Here, two literate girls out of three, 3C2. Three, three illiterate girls out of five, 5C3. Five three. three literate girls out of three, that is 3C3. Three three. And two illiterate girls out of five, that is 5C2. Five what is the number of ways here? 4C3 is 4, 4 into 2 is 8. Here it is 4C2 is 6, 6 into 1 is 6. So I have 14 ways of selecting boys. Similarly here, 3C2 is 3, 3 into 5C3, 10, that is 30. And 3C3 is 1, 1 into 10 is equal to 10. I have total of 40 ways of doing this. So what is the total number of ways of doing this? 40 into 14. This gives me 560 as the total number of ways in which this can be done. So that is my answer for question number 20. It's a question from permutation and combination, though, of course, we had to make cases. We did not have a choice, but of course, you have to make cases in this. Even if you make cases otherwise, that means the cases which are not allowed. Even if I go by that, even that would be quite lengthy in this scenario. So I think either of the ways, it is going to be a moderate level question, in my opinion.